Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play EVE Online. Alright, our next mission is called Flame of Peace and judging from, you know, the uh, EVE Survival Guide, we're going to be going up against Blood Raiders. So keep that in mind if, uh, you know, you're fitting an armor tank. My armor tank will consist of... Repairer. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be f I'm fitting this thing for missiles still, so there we go. Alright, uh, well, we're going to EVE, I guess. Alright, Flame of Peace Heresy. The theologic, Theology Council has caught wind of a religious colony whose leaders are gathering followers on a remote station in this system. They apparently call themselves the Flame of Peace. Their outpost is in the heart of a dead space pocket, which is more than a little suspicious. The Council wants to know what these people are, out, are up to out there. Of course, we cannot allow the slightest deviation from the practices and beliefs of Holy Scripture, so you must determine if they are gathering or following for some strange new heresy. If you determine that they are indeed heretics, destroy them without mercy and bring back any evidence you can. There you go, we got some encrypted data crystals. Eh, I guess an okay reward, I guess, but to be certain, so accept it. And, oh, more uh, Theocracy is millennia old and traces its roots back into ancient times, perhaps even before humans ever set foot among the stars. Religion is the backbone of a Marian society. Countless wars have been fought and lives lost over the proper interpretation of the Marian scriptures. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's, uh, I believe I've got everything set up here. Uh, yeah, i got the missiles in the cargo hold. Alright, let's go. And in case you're wondering, no, I didn't really uh, do any extensive price checking for the medium pulse laser 2s just because I probably won't be able to afford them before uh, the price changes so but uh, ones in MR do are less than a million discs so I figured out ah, that's good enough to aim for for now so let's head over to EBA and uh, take care of these guys Ice planet. If they're, I wonder if they're going to use those planes in Dust Five Fourteen as well. I mean, they are solid surface. Why not? I think it'd be pretty cool to fight on it on an ice planet. But anyways, it could be interesting to see if they actually, you know, how uh, well from the five episodes or so of uh, you know the D Dust Five Fourteen, I guess demo I gave you guys. I wonder if. With the the water planets, if they'll actually start introducing at later at a later date, like like a navy type ships kind of thing, that would be cool. But anyways, of course, it, I don't know. It, it probably really changed the uh, the uh, well, I guess the way the wars are waged kind of thing. But anyways, what do we got here? Occultist habitats. Okay. Here, but let's go take a look. Oh, there we go. Let's orbit this thing. Didn't hit him. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's it. Uh, I need to. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to blow up that thing. Unless it's in the ship. 
Let's lock this up just in case. Nope. All right. We gotta destroy this thing. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? I suppose I should take these guys out first. Come on, reset. Thank you. It up and do it all over again. I think you can actually watch these things fire. <laughs> you can see the little reload. I think it'll be this one next. Oh, and it comes in. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's head back home. Warp drive active. Actually, I think this isn't all four of these, or at least this entire mission is focused around the Blood Raiders, so I think I'll well just leave these in here. Nah. I guess I'll have to do it uh, after I jump in.
docking permission requested. All right, I guess it didn't want me to reload. Well, I'll keep it fitted the way it is for now, though. One is finished. And what is part two? Part two is just a. Oh, you just gotta transport that to a uh, another station. So another courier mission. So I guess we'll have to take care of that next time. And uh, yeah, so I'll head back out to salvage that stuff, and I'll post the uh, results in the video description. And next time we'll take on part two. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.